Ladies and gentlemen, let's destroy a scammer. So in tonight's video, I'm going to showcase exactly who this particular Indian scammer is and what he's been doing to scam the UK. Working alongside Nationwide Bank, we are going to save victims of fraud in real time. I'm going to scare him into shutting down on his own personal live stream. Everything on his computer is going to get completely destroyed. I'm going to give him a call and expose him directly and see what he has to say for himself. So who is Pratik? Well, he is a singer, a songwriter and a music producer that goes by his real full name on all of his social media platforms. Now I can't put that full name within this particular video, but if you ever look in the comments, it will definitely be pinned for you guys to do your own searching. He is based in Asanol in West Bengal in India. Now Pratik is trying to make it big in this world. And in order to pay the rents, his views and downloads on his music career is just not enough. So what he does is he scams the UK on a day-to-day -day basis with this scam. There is a payment request for £900 for online shopping from your Visa card. Thank you for getting connected with the fraud department. My name is Patrick. How are you doing today? Once he has spoken to the victim and convinced them that he is from Visa Security and that the charge is actually going ahead, he then changes tactics and he all of a sudden becomes from Amazon Security and he sends them a forgotten password request. The Amazon team has sent you this verification. And once they read that number back, he then gets full access into their account. Uh, let me first of all confirm you, Mr. Brian. And then he will be able to see their other phone numbers, their full address, which banks they use and their full name. He will then proceed the conversation into saying that there are definitely hackers within that victim's accounts. But it is just to trick the hackers and cancel the payments. And in order to safeguard their money and block any further transactions, they need to create a, something called a Remitly account and send a dummy transaction. Somebody has used your details to make some unusual payments. So what we are trying to do here, we are trying to cancel those transactions. However, this is actually a real genuine transaction. Now the two victim saves that you're about to hear have been massively edited. And I want to give a massive shout out to the staff at Nationwide Bank for acting so proactively for saving victims of fraud in real time. You don't have to make any transactions. You just follow my lead. I'll guide you and you don't have to lose any penny. Okay, so bear with me. Just uh, focus on what I'm going to say right now. I'm just pausing to explain something for those that might not know. So right now Pratik is connected into the victim's phone via software called AnyDesk. Now this is a perfectly legitimate piece of software that's unfortunately abused by scammers across the globe. This gives him access into important information like passwords, opening up maybe the camera, or accessing emails in order to do transactions. So first of all, you would see that application will open up on the nationwide. So once it's open up, you just log in by yourself. That's right. That is an exact amount, not one uh, penny left, like one penny less or one penny more, because that is a cancellation transaction. So it's not going to debit from your account. All right. So you don't have to worry. Your pennies are not going to move from anywhere. The overdraft will be showing you the exact. And mostly when we refund, uh, initiate the refund of 250 pounds, I think you will receive from there 50 to 70 pounds. The other will be cancelling the outstanding of your, remain, of your overdraft. This number is reserved for lost and stolen inquiries and to report fraud on your account. Good morning, you free at Nationwide. How can I help? Hi, I need to report a scam in progress. Right, okay, and where are you calling from, please? So, my name's Dan, I'm a private investigator. I'm one of those YouTubers that you would have heard of. We infiltrate scammers' computers mm -hmm. and we save people in real time. Uh, the person oh, that's, wow, that's yeah, the person that's on the phone with the scammer now, I've got his full card details, but I don't have a contact number for him. I'm gonna call literally this person immediately, so you're probably here if you can have access to that you'll be able to see so if there's any way you can tell him to please answer my call and put that down that would be amazing i will do i will do uh generally thank you Lovely. so much oh. for your help i really appreciate it oh bless you thanks for everything you do i love watching these videos so thank you so much no worries you take care cheers bye 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 you too thanks bye bye 
30 seconds later has used your account and they have made some payments without your knowledge okay if you want me to show you that i can do that all right that's a proof you understand me now please try please try to first of all go ahead and complete the cancellation transactions all right listen listen to me why would you lose you your money yeah, it will send, it will say that it's sending money. I do understand that, but it's not going to deduct the funds because it is just in the process. Okay. And I've given you my words that you're going to not going to lose your money. You need to have some trust on us. Do you understand me? We don't have a lot of time left because the payment was already on process. Okay. Where are you? Please come back. Are you there? Good afternoon, you three to Nationwide Fraud Operations. My name is how can I help? Yeah, hi. I need to report a scam in progress. There's an attempted transaction for £998 about to come out of their account. Can you put a block on it okay, temporarily or, or do whatever it is that you guys do? Right, um, leave that with me then I'll see what I can do, Dan. Amazing. Uh, generally the best of luck. And if you can get him to uninstall those two pieces of software, that would be phenomenal. Yeah, will do. Thanks very much for the information. Take care, guys. All the best. Good luck. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. A little while later... I've been that you could be the scammer. Yes! Why would be I a scammer, sir, if I'm just trying my best to help you from the fraud team? Have I asked you any of your personal details yet? Why would you think us to be a fraud? Now, please go back to your Monzo and please log in by yourself. Now I hung up. Yes! Yes! Monzo is doing mobile. It's just an app. It's not 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 Is he uninstalling? Perfect. Yes! Amazing, so I don't even need to uh, call him. Brilliant. Pratik has spent hundreds of thousands of hours editing his own videos, making his own content, mastering everything himself, and we're going to destroy it all. From the raw copies all the way up to finished projects, everything in between is getting destroyed as payback for scamming the UK. Now, this is only a small clip of everything that was deleted. I just wanted to give you the gist of what had happened. His porn selection and his cracked software could not be deleted. Bye bye. Now the deleting of his computer happened while he was actually singing away on his live stream. There was only about four people in, but I decided that it was appropriate time to expose what he's been doing and make him look like a fool on said live stream. So I'm going to leave a little bit of his singing on, just knowing that you guys know about the deleted files in the background while he's singing his little heart out to what actually happens next. It was just perfect. Take it away, Pratik.
you guys know this song? Should I sing? Kaafi purana hai bhai. Uh oh, I think I scared him. The dude bailed. After a couple of hours, I decided to give him a call. And by this point, I know that the gravity of what has actually happened would have transpired and he would have realized what it was. Now, I've had to carefully edit this next bit because of alleged cyberbullying. However, let's just say if he would have released a video apologizing to the UK for scamming them for a period of time, he would have got everything back, no hesitation. How can I help you? Pratik, I have destroyed everything on your computer. I have watched you steal money and attempt to steal money from UK citizens. Uh, well, I have left the thing that you're talking about, okay, uh, like uh, one to two weeks ago. That's a lie. He was scamming that very morning. And I don't want to continue those things. I can promise you that. And I won't be going through any of those things. Uh, I was in a very need of the funds and I had to work. So I did it and I don't want to continue it. So I can apologize to you for that. Just think of all the people you have stolen money from and how depressed and upset that they will be from being scammed by you. I, I can, I can, it's, it was just not me. So please, you can't blame all of on me, okay? But you need to understand that, uh, yeah, I have been with them and I have been like really feeling bad about it and I've just made my decision that I won't be doing anything like that. Okay, Pratik, I can promise that. You have 24 you hours. I will not contact you again. So what was the final conclusion to all of this? Well, after about an hour after the confrontation, his Instagram account was completely removed. I've not seen his PC come back online, so I naturally assume that he's most likely reset. And I've not seen him scam at that particular call center, so fingers crossed he actually decided to jack that job in. Some people might be thinking that what I did to Pratik was a little bit too harsh. However, I'll be releasing footage over the course of this next year, just showcasing how bad of a person he actually was, and I'll be sharing all the many, many, many victim saves that I did against Pratik. This guy is a master manipulator and he deserved everything that he got. So you need to understand that this uh, somebody has tried to take the details out of your account and they are trying to make some payments. You need to understand what we are trying to do here is trying to protect you. So we're going to provide you a new card in two to three days. This is about your heart and money we are trying to secure because somebody is trying to illegally take it out. So you need to understand it's about your heart and funds, right? So you have to give us some time to do this, okay? 